You might have come across this term Android Debug Bridge or ADB. So what is it exactly and you know how you can use it. So let's talk about this and I'll try to provide you a basic introduction to, to the world of ADB. So what ADB is exactly, it's a command line tool which can be used to communicate with emulator or Android devices. So when you have an app and you want to run it, either you use the emulator in the Android studio or you connect to your smartphone, say your Android device and run your app on that device, right? So in either of the cases, it's the ADB or the bridge which talks to this device or the emulator behind the scene. So what essentially happens is there's an ADB server running in the background on port, you know, 5037. And what your, uh, you can say what your command line or what your studio does is to connect to that port whenever it needs the emulator or it needs the Android device. And this, this port basically has the ADB server running on it. And this server kind of handles the request for, you know, launching or starting your device, your app, basically. So that's what the ADB does. Now there's a command line interface available. Um, it's kind of like the Linux command, command line interface. And you can have various commands uh, which you can run. Uh, you know, the shell scripts you can run and see the output, whether it's the log or you, what are the devices that you are connected to. So those kind of cool things can be done with ADB. So you can explore more in Android documentation, read about ADB. But the, the most important thing to keep in mind is it's, it's basically a bridge between your, you know, like say studio or command line and the device or emulator. Okay. So I hope this helps you get an idea about it. Okay.